Do you ever wonder how your water gets to your sink or even how the road you drive on got there? What about this building that we're in, it has been, how it has been standing since the university started? It's simple, construction. Construction is one of the first skills or industries that was a necessity to human history. It wasn't as complex as today's, but construction goes back as far as the human race. Since the beginning of time, people have used their hands to build things in order to live and better their lives and communities. Construction played a very important role in tying technology to culture and history. The construction industry began in the Neolithic age from 9000 BC to 3000 BC. After that came the Iron Age from 1200 BC to 700 BC. The biggest era of change was during the Industrial Revolution from 1600 to 1900. It is then involved to what we now call modern day construction. history and the bright future of construction. For at least two million years, man has had the need to live somewhere, in a cave, a tent, a hut, an igloo, a log cabin, a castle, a palace, a detached house, a red brick townhouse, or a concrete apartment building. Modern human beings spend a third of their income to pay for their apartments in mass-produced cubes of concrete. Urbanization has resulted in an increasing number of such concrete cubes lined up in rows. This has led to a paradox of city living. People are close to one another, yet they are alone. Even digital socializing cannot overcome the loneliness of modern living. The paradox can be solved, but it requires a construction revolution. It is time for the construction industry to modernize itself in step with the rest of society. Let's combine communality, digitalization, and construction. Let's put people into the center of construction and concentrate on why we build rather than merely focusing on what we build. Why? That is a great question. Putting people in the center enables construction in a smart and efficient way. It creates communities of like-minded people. It enables seamless cooperation and team spirit among construction workers. It brings about far-sighted urban planning. When we stop to ask ourselves why, we can move from just planning buildings to also planning the use of buildings. This gives rise to cozy work environments instead of offices, homes instead of residences. Join us in the construction revolution at FIDA. Like any industry, the construction industry is not perfect, but modern day construction is a backbone to the world we live in today. Without construction, today's way of life would come to a halt very quick. Current Ohio Northern professor Douglas Deegan, that has experience in many construction fields, stated that the career opportunities for students are tremendous. We are seeing a phenomenal surge in the construction and construction is no longer a dirty word. Everything going on in the world must have infrastructure, roadways and utilities in order to function like it has for years on end. Today's construction industry is very complex and technical, but holds the same base ideologies as the industrial revolution. Critical advancements such as carpentry, engineering, electrical conductors, circuit breakers, plumbing systems, lighting, remodeling, framing of walls, ceilings, floors, doors, windows, and roofs, and the management of construction projects have helped modern construction evolve to the industry that it is. Details and logistics of construction have been modernized and the focus is now on luxury and efficiency of infrastructure. Interior design is currently valued more than ever. Along with the luxury, it focuses on architecture and overall design because the majority today want to stick out and have something unique or bigger than everyone else. People in the construction market want to defy the odds with unorthodox structures that grab people's attention. Aside from this, simple construction will always be necessary to society as long as people are present. Construction has been in my life since I was born, and I am more than thankful for what it has done for my, my family and the values it has taught me as a person.